What's going on? You know, you guys saw Mark's bird. About to see my bird from the season, but have to give some playback. I never recorded anything in the woods and just, you know, like had a great, great beginning of the season with Mark. You know, there's a bunch of action and then him shooting his bird and stuff. But I actually shot a bird as well before the bird that I finally took. And uh, you're going to see it right now. And it's just, it came in, I got him to come in. Um, and I had a group, I don't know, four or five of them that started to come in, but you know, they, they committed and I sort of rushed the shot. It was a 30 yard shot. And obviously I'm pretty confident with a 30 yard shot. It's not that hard of a shot on a bird. It's a little more difficult than, you know, a deer, but it really isn't that big of a deal to take that kind of shot. And so I thought I was confident. I didn't think they were actually going to commit to the, to the decoys at all. And we started having that problem, you know, just the early time they just weren't, they didn't like the decoys, even though we just have Jake's out there, we don't have Tom. So I don't know if it's just, they're just not that interested to commit or, or what it is. I'm not a turkey expert by any means, but they just wouldn't commit. So I rushed the shot, put a good thought, a shot on it that I thought, and it took off with my arrow. We ended up coming back with five guys and spreading out and tracking the whole area, scanning the whole area and just never could recover my bird. So unfortunately I wasn't able to recover that bird, but fortunately I still had another opportunity at something else. Um, and so I hope you enjoy the video. Just smoked birthday bird.
Just smoked birthday bird on the ground. Maybe he went, I don't know, 15 yards. We're gonna give him a minute. There's another time right next to him right now, so I'm not gonna chase after him, but uh, I'm pretty sure I drilled him. So he's down, and uh, yeah, his buddies are just chilling with him, so just wait a little while, and then, uh, then go grab the birthday bird, and then uh, go hit the links with the boys and Melissa. Biggest bird, but it's a good one. Mm. He ran into a mud puddle, and I called them in with my mouth. We're gonna go set the bird up by the decoys and uh, grab, come back, grab my bow and stuff, but smoke them. Hell yeah! All right. Today is May 2nd, happens to be my 26th birthday. Uh, I'm feeling sort of old compared to Vince, but other than that, um, yeah, we just had a great morning. We set up, we got here at 5.30, um, sat for a while, had them gobbling everywhere, had a bunch of birds. Uh, they're pretty far back, they're about 100 yards from us, and they just wouldn't come in, they wouldn't commit. And so about 8.30, 9 o'clock rolls around, and me and Vince were hungry, so we went to Holden's, grabbed some breakfast pizza. Um, but We've done that every time so far and it seems that the spot that we're at right now they come back you know a little later in the day and so it's not that bad to do that because we have time to run off um and so we came back uh then as soon as we came back i threw out a hen call and they instantly answered a, probably three or four times answered um and then then we just sat there forever trying to get them in and they stuck to about 95 yards and I was like, hey Vince, I'm just gonna gobble. So I just was like, woo! And uh, it started firing them up. And it was, uh, I did that a lot, probably more than Vince wanted me to do right next to him. But uh, I was practicing all yesterday, pissing off Melissa in the house. And so, uh, you know, I trained for this, trained hard um, for that gobble right there. And it got him to come in. Uh, he committed, there was three, or three other Toms back with him and two came in. Um, the other two sort of took off when they saw these guys, but you know, he's not my biggest bird, but he's my second bird, and I don't really care how big he is because he's pretty cool, and uh, it was fun to call him in. It was fun to have 
Vince in the, in the blind with me on my birthday and he got to uh, film his first actual kill um, and recovery and so that that's pretty awesome. His spurs, I mean, they're probably like three quarter inch. They're not big spurs. His fans good. His, his beard's about nine and a half inches, which is a decent beard. Um, there's a few around here that are pretty, like, I don't know, 12s, but this, this is a good bird, and uh, I'm stoked to get it done on my birthday, and now we're gonna go uh, hit the links and, uh, you know, smack some balls, lose, lose them in the woods, but uh, we're gonna clean this guy up, probably uh, get the fans set up on some cardboard, and uh, yeah, go from there, just have a good birthday, you know? Uh, so, it was fun, it was awesome. Mark and Pat went out this morning, they didn't have any luck, but hopefully Pat, Pat will be out tomorrow morning, and uh, you'll have another chance, so stay with us. Well, we just got back to Melissa's. We're going to breast out this bird, and uh, yeah, right here, Melissa. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just going to breast out this bird. But this weekend, birthday bird. Got it done, May 2nd, 26 years old today, and uh, yeah, I gotta celebrate with the bird. So we're gonna go golfing after this, but we gotta clean the bird real fast, and uh, then ha enjoy this beautiful first really warm day, actually. So uh, we're gonna get to it, and uh, yeah, it's a good day. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. Vince enjoyed finally filming his first kill on camera, which is pretty awesome. Um, and he was pretty stoked in the blind as well as I was. <laughs> Couldn't tell by my face right after the shot, but I get excited, but then I get worried about the shot placement instantly. And so sometimes I don't show the excitement on my face. Um, but, you know, just recapping the whole turkey season so far, you know, like I wouldn't say any of us are pro turkey hunters at all. Um, and actually like I call with an elk call and it's just a screwed up elk call that I have. It works, it does the job, they still react to it. Um, I think the pitch is a little different, as you probably heard in the video, but really like it works, and so I'm not gonna sort of change it unless you know I go out and buy another call, but I just didn't have time this year, especially with Corona, no nobody was open, and I didn't wanna have one shipped to my house, and all this stuff. I had my tag shipped to my house, and I, that's why I didn't get a hunt opening weekend, because my tag wasn't here. I thought it would get here in time, and then I just didn't buy it in time. But, um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say we're conventional hunters by any means. We just do what works. I mean, I was literally gobbling with my mouth, and, um, it, yeah, they came in. They responded. They got hung up at 95 yards, and I looked at Vince's. You know, we didn't have much time because we had a golf outing to go to. And, you know, I looked at Vince and was like, hey, look, I'm going to mouth gobble if they're going to commit or they're not and just going to hate it. So I, I didn't really care. I mean, but I started gobbling and they started answering and actually committing and like coming in. So from 95 to 55 and then right in from 55 to right to the decoy at 20. So um, that was pretty awesome. And it, it just shows like you don't have to do everything by the book. Um, I wouldn't say there's even an actual book uh, for deer. It's a little different, I think personally, but you know, turkey hunting, what I've seen, if it works, keep doing it. Um, if you're laying down some birds, just keep it up. And if you're not, try something new, mouth gobble, do something. Um, and change it up. That's just what hunting is about. It's freestyling all the time, and that's what everybody should be good at. So, um, as you see, I got decoy, or uh, I got my mount here. This is a buck I shot in, I think, 2015 out of my backyard, but we're actually moving back uh, to Heartland, and so I gotta start packing up all my mounts from our, our I think it's a condo, I guess it's a townhome condo thing. So packing those up, but um, you know, if you like our page, please subscribe, that really helps us out. Um, you know, start producing more content and stuff. But you know, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, hopefully Pat gets one here soon, he should. So uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you all next time.